Throughout the Cold War decades, the British utilized a variety of armored cars for reconnaissance, scouting and security. One such product became the Daimler Ferret Armored Car, a 3.7-ton vehicle crew by two and minimally armed through a single 7.62mm or 0.30 caliber machine gun. Power was served through a Rolls-Royce B60i6 gasoline-fueled engine outputting 130 horsepower. The vehicle was fully suspended for cross-country travel with power driven to all four-wheel systems. Operational ranges reached 190 miles with a peak road speed of 58 miles per hour. The Ferret found widespread popularity in the foreign market, taken on in number by some 30 nations. Design work on the diminutive car began in 1949. Having found success with previous Daimler armored cars during World War II, the British Army once again looked to the local concern for its next product. A machine gun turret was made optional and steel used throughout a majority of the vehicle's construction. The run-flat tires were held at the extreme corners of the chassis for maximum balance in turns and running on uneven terrain. Smoke grenade dischargers allowed the crew to generate their own smokescreen as needed the crew numbering two and made up of a driver and commander. The fighting compartment was a good portion of the internal volume of the front and middle of the hull with the engine kept separate in a compartment at the rear. Vision ports were assigned to all panels of the upper hull superstructure to improve situational awareness for the crew. Its profile was purposely low and the vehicle quite robust for the roll ahead. It was also of compact dimensions which made transportation easier, dimensions included a length of 12 feet, a width of 6 feet and a height of 6 feet. The ferret was produced in many variants beyond the original turretless ferret MKI. The MKI-I featured improved armor protection and an amphibious quality while the MKI-2 had a fixed turret emplacement with hinged roof door and added a third crew member to the mix. The MK-2 was given the Elvis Saracen turret and armed with a 0.30 calories Browning machine gun and the MK-2-I were MKI models brought up to the MK-2 standard. The MK-2-2 had a three-door turret and the follow-up MK-2-3 had improved armor protection. The MK2-4 was given welded-on applique armor plates for even more added protection and the MK2-V was the MKI with the applique armor. The MK2-6 was an anti-tank guided missile carrier while the MK2-7 was the MK2-6 sans the missile launcher. The MK3 was given better armor protection, a reinforced suspension system, larger road wheels and a flotation screen for amphibious operations. The MK-4 became a reconnaissance-minded vehicle with the Saracen turret and included MK-2-3 marks brought up to this new standard. The MKV mounted the Swingfire anti-tank guided missile as well as the L-7 general purpose machine gun. Ferrets were produced from 1952 to 1971 to which total production yielded 4,409 units. In the British Army, the vehicles were ultimately surpassed by more modern solutions. Smaller armies still maintain a fleet of ferret armor cars in their stable, including Myanmar, Nepal, Pakistan, Sudan, and Zambia with over 30 vehicles each. Former operators include Australia, Canada, France, Iraq and South Africa.